Okay, so these are a couple examples of some student works. And one of the things, you know, I always like to point out is, does a vase have to have a single opening? No, of course not. Why? Just because that's what everybody says it has to be to have? Okay, you can have two openings. You can have three, four, five. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Okay, just kind of keep that in mind. Now, do you have to do more than one opening? No, of course not. Okay, just kind of whatever it is that you're feeling. Now, the main reason why I wanted to show you guys these particular pieces is because there's a couple of things that are done incorrectly. Okay, and one of the things is we have to consider in the future, once we glaze our project, what's it going to look like? Okay, and in this one here, and you can actually see it in, I'm going to try and hold it up there. There we go. That's a little bit better. But you can see all these white spots. That's not the glaze. That's the lights shining down on this and reflecting off of bumps and tool marks and lines where you can see where it's been joined together and that kind of stuff. If I turn it this way and I tilt it up in the light, if the light catches that just right, you can see all these little white spots. Those white spots, okay, like I said, those are all areas where the tool okay is still visible you can still see those tool marks i'm gonna hold it up a little bit closer okay and you can see all those little bumps because the light will reflect off of them and it magnifies the little imperfections okay i spend a lot of time i probably spend at least one full class period being 100 minutes um, of just sanding and smoothing and cleaning up and making sure that these projects that I've made are perfectly smooth and perfectly clean so that when I apply the glaze later on, it's going to go on nice and smooth and you're not going to see those tool marks. This is another example of one here and you can see there's a line there, there's a line there, there's a line there. Those are the places where this person joined those pieces of clay together. And it's very obvious, okay? And we don't wanna see that. Remember, one of the great things about ceramics is you can always make it look like it was never more than one piece. Yes, I've said that at least a dozen times this year or more, but, okay, that is the key. You want to make sure that people can't tell how it was put together. And that adds to the mysticism or the beauty of a well-produced um, project okay, is the fact that people have to scratch their heads. The longer they scratch their heads and go, gee, I wonder how they put that together, the more interest there's going to be, the more they're going to look at it, the longer they're going to look at it, the longer they look into it, the more chances are they're going to reach into their back pocket and pay you money for it, okay? That's what you want. You want to create interest. Now, if you can see all the little tool marks and the lines and all these little bumps and everything like that, people are going to go, oh, well, it doesn't really look all that great, okay? So we want to make sure that we spend some time smoothing it out when it's all done, okay? To give you an example of something that's a little bit different, or, you know, to show you the opposite of that, okay? This is one that I made here, okay? And notice that the lines here are all nice and smooth, okay? Yes, you see some reflections, but there's no little tiny individual bumps, okay? See, though, there's one strong line there. That's actually pretty good. But up in here, you can see all those little individual lines. You can see all these little dots down here, these little reflections of where the glaze did not go on perfectly smooth because there's too many bumps in the project, okay? So this one here, okay, notice that the opening is a little bit, I modeled this after a lily flower, um, and I thought it was kind of a cool opening idea, okay? But you can see how much smoother it is in comparison, okay? So that's one of the things that we're looking for. Now, let's get into how we build this one. 